You know what? You get it. <laughs> Action items only. Are you looking at it from 30,000 feet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just take all this and just send it to me in an email. Hey, how are you? My name is Max Nosleeves, and don't you love business? You know, they say the hardest thing about business is getting your beard caught in your tie. Full Windsor? <laughs> Hot shot. I don't know about you guys, but once or twice in my life, I have to send an email. And let me tell you, it's a real freak show. So today we're going over how to professionally tell someone to go f themselves. If you've ever had trouble deciphering business jargon, here's some easy translations. First and foremost, my personal favorite, as per my previous email. It's kind of like saying, hey, fuckhead. Read my email. Why did you think I sent the email? To exercise my fingers? That's what Fortnite's for, my dude. Did you read the first one? Well, now we have great experience in the field. Bro, you completely fucked this up. Are you gonna fire yourself or should I do it? Another personal favorite, CCing their boss. This essentially means, look pal, I need to get on record for when you screw up so your stupidity doesn't drag me down. It's like if your boss was a crocodile. You know the thing about stupidity? It's contagious. CCing your boss is way better than BCCing your boss. You don't need subtlety or subterfuge. That's an SAT word. You just need to get on record as being like, hey listen, this guy's an idiot. Delete it. Well, thank you for your input. <laughs> this one basically means, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and need you to just stop talking. We'll take that into consideration. Man, that was dumb. That was like the participation trophy of ideas. So, great participation idea. Well, that's really cool. I'll have to give it a try sometime. Who is this guy? Did he get the wrong dial in? Is he in the right meeting room? Did he just, did he just show up? So let's table this for now and then circle back. I am so sick of talking about this. We're going in circles. You're an idiot. This guy's an idiot. And if I don't get a sandwich, I'm going to kill all of you idiots. Business. This is one of the best ones. Let's take this discussion offline. Hey buddy, why are you sending this in an email? This isn't even a phone call. This is walk past my office and just yell it in. Cause you know what I don't need? More emails. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Also, for your consideration, think about how you sign an email. Cheers. We're best friends. Regards. If I see you again, I'm gonna run you over with my car. Sincerely, I'm BCCing my lawyer. Thanks, with a comma. This is my standard farewell. Thanks, with a period. I hope you die a thousand deaths. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you feel that way. This one, it would be good if it wasn't so overused. I'm sorry you feel that way grammatically means I'm not really apologizing. Could have said I'm sorry this happened or I'm sorry this worked out this way. But you might as well get the extended version. I'm sorry you feel that way, bitch. Because you're not apologizing for what happened. You're, you're apologizing that the guy's butt hurt. But you're not going to not do it again. One time back in the day if I wanted to be a real dick, I would just straight up decline the meeting request. No comment. No reason. No f And last but not least, one of my personal favorites. You ever been on the phone with someone and you just can't get out of the conversation? But there's so many things going on. Look, I got, I got a, and then my cat is sick, and I'm trying to get this vacation planned out, and my wife is a bitch. Uh -huh. I can't focus because I'm doing paleo keto. I, I got stuffed in the movers, picked up my piano upside down. Come on, man, just stop talking. And I'm bidding on this piece of art that I don't know of. Uh huh. I have an antique coin collection. Uh huh. And I'm trying to bump up my LinkedIn numbers. And I'm trying to make this video the best the funniest, the sneakiest way to get out of a phone call. Okay, well listen, I'll let you go. Uh oh, yeah, 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 get, get out of here. <laughs> anyway, this has been Business Jargon Workshop number one. Please comment below if I've missed any or if you have different translations. Oh yeah, your boy Max used to be a real bona fide cubicle monkey. Worked in an office, had a shared Outlook calendar. You wanna talk Slack? I was on Slack before I was back. Business Jargon was always so funny to me because it was just felt like everyone was like faking the whole time. And on the one hand, fake it till you make it. But on the other hand, are you making it to be fake it? My favorite, favorite thing of all time was I used to work with this guy who's so fucking funny. Nice guy, smart guy, total sweetheart. But you, you'd go to him and you'd be like, we got this problem, we were on schedule, but now we're behind schedule because there was a hurricane, uh, there was like a mudslide, we can't find the right, the right movers, and uh, people can't figure out the right red or the right parking spot. And he'd be like, well, You just said a mouthful. And as stupid as this is, and I know I'm such a perv asshole, I'd be like a mouthful. <laughs> you mean like my dick? Anyway, we'll uh, we'll let you go on that one. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. If you don't like the video, please subscribe. My name is Max Nelson, and I'll see you next Tuesday.